So I think you guys, I, I hope you guys will join me for that tomorrow. Then Tuesday is new release day. All right. I can tell you I'm absolutely playing Like a Dragon Ishin. I'm going to buy the game and I'm going to play it. But here's the thing. I need your help. Everyone listening, all 269 of you here live on stream, and anyone else who's watching on demand, listen up. I need your help. Is everyone listening? Hello? Hello? Wake up! Okay, so here's the deal. I need to know what console to get Like a Dragon Ishin on. Here's why I asked that question. Last new release was Hogwarts Legacy. I didn't ask the question. Instead, I just said, gee, should I, should I get it? Should I get it early? You guys said, yes, buy the early version. So I did. But I bought it on Xbox, and I'm being told by everyone, oh, you screwed up. Man, you screwed up so bad buying Hogwarts Legacy on Xbox because there's exclusive content to the PS5, and now you've missed out on that exclusive content because you boneheadedly, idiotically, stupidly bought it on Xbox. But no one said this till I was already playing the game. So because of that, I didn't know about it. I had no opportunity, all right? So my question is, with Like a Dragon Ishin, is there anything exclusive to either console? Has it been proven that the game will run better on one console or another? Is there a benefit to having the haptic feedback in this game? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of going into this game blind. All I hear is that this game was quite good in 2014 in Japan, but now it's finally going worldwide. But outside of that, is there a reason to buy it on one console or another? I'm asking you now openly a couple days early, so that way I don't boneheadedly buy the wrong version. And the next thing you know, we have inferior amounts of content because I screwed up. All right? So what are people saying here? It doesn't matter. There's nothing exclusive to any console, says My Ruin. Felix the Maid says, well, Yakuza has always been on PlayStation. Yeah, but this one's cross-platform, correct? I'm almost positive. Here, let's double check that. It's not a console exclusive, right? How do you spell Ishin? <laughs> Starts with an I, right? Uh, e. There it is. Like a Dragon Ishin. 60 bucks. Only 60 bucks? It's only 60, it's not 70? Huh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Every new game today is 70. This one's only 60. You don't know why. Probably because it's it's technically a remake, like you guys have been telling me, right? Is that why? Hmm. Hmm. See, here's the thing. Some people, not many, very few, but a few people have contacted me recently and said, you know, we're being a little critical of you because you're only playing games on Xbox recently. And when I hear that, I'm like, okay. I mean, yeah, I guess you got a point. The only games that I played on PS5 recently have been, uh, I played Resident Evil 1 Remake in, in January, correct? Um, and then yesterday, la literally last night, I played fighting games on there. But outside of that, everything has been on my Xbox. That is absolutely correct, 100%. Why? Because I've told you the reasons. Number one. I like this controller way better. I think this is a superior controller to the PlayStation controller. I don't care about the haptic feedback and the stupid adaptive triggers. I don't feel they add anything to the gameplay experience. They're, they're a bell or whistle feature that's there, and most game developers barely even implement them. I don't think that they add anything to the gameplay. Okay? Number two, I get surround sound on my Xbox. Okay? So if I'm getting better audio and what I feel is superior control... Why would I then nerf myself and play a cross-platform game on PlayStation 5? The only reason I would do that is, number one, if there's absolutely proven evidence that it runs better on PS5 compared to the Xbox Series X. And number two, if there's exclusive content that I'm missing out on if I'm not playing it on the Xbox, right? Here's the thing. If I am playing it on the Xbox. Here's the other thing, too. You know, I have a capture device, and quite frankly, it's nice to just have... It hooked to one console. Not, oh, today I have to switch and switch and switch and switch. It's a pain in the ass. I've had issues with consoles in the past where you have to keep plugging in, unplugging, plugging in, unplugging HDMI cables. And after a while, they wear out. The socket wears out. I had a problem with my Xbox One like that where 
half the time when I plugged in an HDMI cable, it wouldn't detect the cable because I was constantly swapping captures and it wears out the console. Um, the fact that I could just pretty much almost play everything on my Xbox and never have to really swap wires, mess with equipment, that's a good thing, in my opinion. It's a stable setup where there's no potential for errors or problems, right? Um, there's no particular reason that I'm not playing stuff on PS5 except what I just mentioned. So it's not like I'm biased against it. I think the console is good. The exclusive on PS5 have been great, right? Take a look at God of War Ragnarok. Oh my God, that game was really, 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 really good. My game of the year. But I don't see the reason to force myself to play on the console, you know? Um, you know, I compare this to the Xbox 360 PS3 era where I just particularly liked the features and the control of the Xbox 360. I really like the Xbox 360 controller, which, no surprise, it's very similar to the Xbox Series X controller that I love as well, right? Um, not to say... Now, PS5 exclusives were amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love the PS3 exclusives. I thought the PS3 exclusives were some of the best games out there, right? I mean, The Last of Us, holy shit. You want to talk about an amazing blow-your-pants-off game of the year. At the time, that was amazingly cool, right? Um, but it was funny because during that console generation, everyone said that I was an Xbox fanboy. Then what happened was the next console gen, let's be honest, Microsoft dropped the ball, botched the Xbox One hugely. So PS4 was the way to go. And all the time, I played all the cross-platform games on my PS4. And what happened? Everyone called me a Sony fanboy. Now, how, wait a minute. How could that be? You just, for five-plus years called me an Xbox fanboy, and now because I'm playing everything cross-platform on a other console, now I'm a Sony fanboy? So now this console gen happened. I bought a PS5, and I had a PS5 for about a year, and I played pretty much everything on PS5. Then what happened? Someone donated an Xbox Series X. Since I got the Xbox Series X, I played almost every cross-platform game on it. Now I'm an Xbox fanboy again. <laughs> You can only please some of the people all of the time, even if you can do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like no matter what I do, people are going to be upset with me. 